It is Saturday, October 2nd, 2021. This area didn't look like this when we came here. I'll link this video to some of the videos I made in this area, cleaning up the incredible mess. And I'm not done yet. My son has been working in here all summer. He doesn't like me to film him, but he allowed me to film at least a couple of times. There's a lot of this burdock seed already forming. It is absolutely nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. <gasps> oh my God. The gloves are coming off again because otherwise I can't. <laughs> this reminds me of your pretzel. The more you try to do, the messier it gets. But you can imagine that if you get this in your mane and tail or in your hair, I am doing this for a whole bunch of reasons. One of them being that I don't want to find this in my horse's mane and tail. But the most important reason is that it is the right thing to do. These are noxious weeds that need to be kept in check on your property. We are right at our neighbors. These guys are going to go to seed and the seeds blow on their immaculate lawn. Keeping noxious weeds in check is something we do for our property, but also for our neighbors. Our neighbors look after their property with great love and they work all day, every day to make it look like this. If I don't do my part on this side of the fence and these noxious weeds are allowed to 
flourish here and reproduce like crazy and make seeds that blow into my neighbor's property, then they can work all day, every day. And it's going to be very, very frustrating. Another reason why I like to keep weeds down is because it makes maintaining the paddock, daily maintenance, as in cleaning up shit, a lot easier. We can't get in here with motorized equipment like a tractor and a bush hog, well, because of the trees, but also because of all these tree stumps that are scattered around here. So you would wreck any motorized equipment. That's why I do this by hand. And even though we have been at this all summer, as you can tell, some of these guys still managed to go to seed. And I never learned. What the hell? I'm also still doing this. Well, first of all, because I would hate to see all my hard work go to waste because the weeds take over again. I started this process and as long as I am here, I will continue to look after this property as if it is my own. You are welcome. Last but not least, I do this because physical exercise is good for body and mind and I have plenty reasons to be entirely depressed, but I'm not, because I keep myself fit, healthy, in the sun. The other reason why I do this is because we teach visionary leadership through property maintenance. And I can't teach this against a ill-maintained backdrop. I can't teach excellence and looking after property properly while not looking after property. 
properly. While not looking after property properly. That makes no sense. That would be out of integrity. That would be saying one thing and doing quite another. So to be in integrity with myself, I look after this place with everything I got. And when things get out of hand, like they do sometimes, it is because I am preoccupied with cleaning up other bullshit. That is the only reason why things get behind on the property sometimes. Yeah, speak about uh, an upside down reality. An upside down reality. Another reason why we do this is because we keep what we don't want in check, what we do want now has room to develop. And there, where what we do want has room to develop, maintenance has become a lot easier because the horses are now maintaining it. The horses, or cattle, or goats, nobody likes to eat thistles, burdock, ragweed. It's no longer growing here. What is growing here now is the stuff they do like to eat. The grasses, the alfalfa, the clover, the dandelions, stuff they do like to eat, which also means that they are now maintaining this. And that is the whole idea behind setting up for success maintaining something in such a way that it eventually will start looking after itself. In a couple of years, whatever livestock is being kept on here will be able to just graze this clean and there won't be any more dominant species overpowering everything. Thank you, buddy. These little purple flowers turn into little burrs that are even nastier than the big burrs. This pet oak has turned from a absolute dangerous disaster zone, unproductive because it sustained nobody because there was nothing in there that anybody wanted to eat. So it was an unproductive, dangerous eyesore filled with 10 years of cow manure but that's a different story we turned it into the garden of eden it is a park-like setting it is beautiful it is clean it is safe and it sustains animals because there where first there was only an edible weeds, there is now beautiful meadow. That is what we made happen on this property. You're welcome. And I will put all my links below in the text box showing exactly the work we did here, showing exactly how we found this place. I have footage standing pretty much right here in a
know this is not going to satisfy my poop lovers, but this is the essence of visionary leadership. Knowing what shit is about to happen and doing something about it before it hits the ground. And my beloved, this is a message for you.